What's the difference between the backlog view and the issues view? If you've ever been confused as to why some issues show up in one place and not the other, I am going to tell you everything you need to know to be an expert in this particular topic. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel. It's that red button down below. Totally free for you to just smash and it helps the channel grow tremendously. Also drop a like as that will help the algorithm share this video with more people. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. And finally, don't forget to share this video with all your peers, coworkers, teammates, your bosses, your Jira administrators, the people in your life that use Jira or Confluence or any of the other Elastin products, share this channel with them so that they can learn a thing or two about Jira. All right, let's jump into today's video. I am inside of a Jira project and most of the time when I want to see the issues that I'm working on, I'm going to go to my backlog because fundamentally, if you're an agile team, this is how you're planning and basically strategizing your work. You come into the backlog and you're going to see maybe you have a sprint or two running and then you're going to have your backlog, which is going to have all the issues. But every once in a while, certain issues don't show up. The reason that happens is because of a couple of things, but the most important reason why certain issues don't show up is because a board has something called a board filter. And one of the biggest misconceptions that I hear with so many people that are kind of new to Jira is they'll ask me, hey, Alex, I want a new board, but they don't want a new board. They want a new Jira project because fundamentally Jira's boards and projects are different. Out of the box, when you create your very first Jira project, the board and the project are one. But over time, that board separates ever so slightly from the Jira project because the Jira project will show you everything. And all those issues that you've ever created inside of your project, whether they're resolved, open, in progress, done, whatever you want to call it, all of that shows up in your issues view. So if I click on issues, my issues view here is going to show me 65 issues because those are all of the issues that I've ever created in this project that haven't been deleted. So the only way that an issue will not show up in your issues view is if you delete the issues because then they're gone. But as long as you click on this all issues here, then it's going to show you all the issues that have ever been brought into this project. And the resolution of those issues is very, very key because this view will show you everything, including resolved. Now, if we switch back to project and we go to the backlog view, you'll notice that 15 plus three does not equal 65. So what happened to the rest? Well, the way boards work is very strategic. There are two things that you need to take into consideration. One, the board filter is going to dictate what actually shows up here. So even though the project has 65 issues, it is possible for you to modify your filter so that you don't include all 65 originally. So let me show you what that looks like. So if you come here to the ellipses, click on board settings, and you scroll down, you'll see that the query here is project equals Thanksgiving dinner. So what this means is that out of the box at the beginning, right when you started creating issues for the very first time, any unresolved issue that you create, any story, task, bug, whatever subtask, it will show up to a certain degree because your epics are in a pane and the subtasks are kind of nested within the story, right? But all the issues will be visible or at least to a certain degree from the board because the filter says, hey, bring me every issue that's in this project. Now where the fork or where the things start to diverge is once you start resolving your issues. And what do I mean by resolving? Once you start moving your issues to done, a Jira will, if your workflow is configured correctly, will give you a little resolution, a little check mark, and it will resolve that issue. Now, Jira is pretty smart. Jira knows that when you're in this like strategic execution mode of running and planning your sprints, you kind of want to be a little bit like Vin Diesel, and you don't want to worry about work that you've already finished. You just want to see the road ahead. So Jira is very methodically removing, they're not deleting, but they're hiding those resolved issues from the board view because you don't need to go back and look at issues that have been resolved. 
So if you were to take a look back at my project, the reason I only see 15, 16, 17, 18 issues is because I only have 18 unresolved issues. And if I were to go back to the issues view over here, not only do I see all 65, but if I click on open issues, this number should be closer to 18. But now you'll notice that it's not. And the reason that is, is because this includes the subtasks. And so as I mentioned a little bit earlier, your epics and your subtasks are not included in that view because your backlog's only designed to show you the tasks, the bugs, and your stories. So any other issue type that is not one of those three, they're automatically gonna be in a slightly different category because the issues view here, it's not going to be as picky as the board view. So it's gonna show you all the issues. So, But if we were to be very specific and I were to tell it, just show me standard issue types, then this number is gonna come down a little bit and now I'm gonna remove, so if I were to just be stories and bugs, this number is gonna be a whole lot closer to 18. Now, why is it still off? Well, that's another mystery for another day. So I hope that helps clear up why your backlog and your issues views are typically different. You wanna treat your backlog as the work that your team has to do in order to be successful. You wanna look at your issues view as all the past, present, and future work that your team has basically taken on in the past, is currently taking on, or will take on in the future, while your backlog is really only showing you today and forward. It doesn't care about the past because as soon as you resolve those issues and you close out your sprint, Jira will flush those issues out and hide them from your view so that you can stay focused on what's important, which is the road ahead. And so that's why those views are different. But just keep in mind that the issues didn't get deleted. They're not gone. They're not, they didn't just magically disappear. You can still reference and see them all. Heck, you can create filters. And if you really, really just want to see all your issues, you can still do that. And I want to be careful. You don't, you shouldn't see your past work because it can cloud your judgment there a little bit. So you only want to be worried about the forward so that you can stay focused. And if you do want to go look at your historical information, click on that issues view and then go see your issues over there because that view will show you everything. That's it for this video and hopefully it clarifies the difference between the backlog and the issues, why some issues are showing up, why other issues don't show up, and hopefully that all helps, un helps you with understanding of how all that works. If you found this very, very helpful, which hopefully you did, make sure you smash that like button. If you made it this far and you haven't smashed that red subscribe button, I urge you to smash that subscribe button as it does help the channel grow tremendously. And then finally, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need